Welcome to Red Dead 2. The other day I was walking around up north in the mountains, kind of I think north uh, east, I believe, and I come across this tower that looks eerie similar to another tower that I've seen a few times. My first thought was, this is similar to the tower uh, Tesla built. It's got to be a replica. Did a little research and wanted to do some comparison between the real tower and the uh, tower in the game. The real tower was built in Shoreham, New York. And uh, the real tower was built in 1901. It lasted until uh, 1917 when it was finally uh, demolished for uh, scrap value. The uh, one we have in the game right here, that was uh, listed as Dover Hill. That's the game name of uh, if you're looking for it. And, of course, this is Arthur in 1899. Because the game is set in 1899. you got to have a tower in 1899, right? A few years later, uh, go back as Mr. Marston. This is in 1907. Tower is still there. What would be cool, and maybe I, I, I missed this, is if you had a storyline where, in the real tower, J.P. Morgan pulled the financing for uh, the tower... And they didn't do any further uh, work. If you did in the game, you could have uh, J.D. McKnight, the banker, pulling uh, financing on uh, this one here. You know, maybe a little storyline. Uh, maybe there's something I missed. I, I didn't do the side mission yet uh, with the uh, Bright Bouncing Boy, but uh, that could be a cool cool side mission there. A uh, cool little thing with it, uh, having uh, Mr. McKnight uh, having a, a hand in it. Maybe there's a, a paper part I, I haven't uh, read yet because uh, I haven't read all the uh, Red Dead papers yet but uh, be a sweet little storyline anyway uh, that cool little thing I noticed about it now it's uh, located just north of Annisburg uh, kind of where this uh, little lo uh, icon is right here fastest way to get there is to probably fast travel to Annisburg and then uh, just head on the train tracks until you get there. It's a little bit of a jog over there, but it's uh, definitely something worth uh, checking out. Now there is a mission that can be played over there, or started over there anyway, and that involves the Bright Bouncing Boy 2. Notice it is listed as 2 and not 1. That's because in order to unlock it, you need to complete 1 in uh, Saint-Denis. If you complete one in Saint Denis, it involves, uh, I believe, a submarine, toy submarine. Uh, you'll be able to uh, have a shot at this later on in the game. Now, if you may have noticed on the right, there is a cigarette card that is available. It's under Amazing Inventions, called the Electric Light Bulb. Picture of a light bulb, of course, on the cigarette card. So, if you're looking to collect, that's something you can definitely check out. But yeah. Uh, this overall was pretty sweet. I'm, I'm glad I was just randomly wandering around and was able to find it. It's, it's one of the things I like about this game is there are so many different little things, little quirky things that the, the developers put a lot of attention to detail, a lot of time into. And that's what makes this game a lot of fun to play and then play again after you play through it, of course. And like I said, it is in Dover Hill, which is just north of Annisburg. Well, you got to take the tracks anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I definitely enjoyed uh, taking a look at it and uh, would highly recommend taking a look at it too if you're into this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, def definitely something worth taking a look at. And that is going to ramp this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching and uh, I wish you good luck in your play.